these days we live Life and Sunshine is a, a really happy song. It's got some awesome vibes. It's a little bit self-explanatory. It's kind of just about living life, having fun with your friends at the beach in sunshine. <laughs> um, I wrote it obviously at the beach where I spend a lot of my time. And yeah, I mean, when I, I guess when, I, when people listen to this song, I just want them to feel happy and like they're having a good time. That's what it's all about. So again, it's, it's about appreciating the kind of little things in life, like hanging out with your friends and just living life in sunshine and being happy and forgetting about all the stress. <laughs> One Step Behind is, is funny because when you hear it, it, it sounds like this really emotional, dramatic song that you assume I wrote about a boyfriend that I couldn't get over and, and all my friends always kind of say, oh, who was that about? But the truth is, <laughs> I actually wrote it about not wanting to go back to uni. <laughs> um, I do write a lot of songs like that. I always say, you know, my favourite place in the world is the beach and, and sometimes I get a little bit sad when I've got to leave the beach in the holidays and come back to uni. So the lyric in the song is, I can't let you go and when I'm saying you, I, I mean I can't let the beach go. So that's how much I love the beach. <laughs> can't you see I'm just a rider? You'll never take that away. Um, I wrote... I guess it's all about just not caring what people think about you and remembering what's important and just I guess I think we go through life with you know people that won't support you and people that will say mean things to you that's just how it is I choose not to let that stuff get to me I just don't, I just think it's a waste of time I mean life is so much more fun when you don't care what people think and that's really what you need to take that away is all about so People can say mean things, but I'm always going to be able to go to the beach. I'm going to be able to write songs, and that's what's important to me. So I really hope that I can spread that attitude around. We came in. Danny's song is, is actually quite a recent song. Not long ago, I did a sailing trip to New Mia, and when I got there, kind of tied up to this boat. <laughs> Where there were these two guys on board that um, I eventually ended up talking to that night just about their adventures and their lives. Um, one of them I actually <laughs> ended up talking to basically the whole night and he was telling me all these stories about how he'd done these great fishing charters and how he loved to dive all the time and, and I was just sitting there going, oh my gosh, your life is what I want to be doing. So I got really inspired by him <laughs> and I wrote this song um, and I, I did decide to call it Danny's song because I wanted to be honest that that was his actual name and, and that's kind of the first I guess, name for the song that popped into my head. Also John Denver's got a song called Annie's Song <laughs> so I was kind of stoked that it related to that. But yeah, all in all, um, it's kind of a creepy story because I don't think this guy even really knows who I am. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, I was completely inspired by the things he achieved in his life. So that's really where the song came from. Angel is one of my most emotional songs I've ever written. I actually wrote it on the piano for the first time. I don't know how to play the piano very well. I kind of just get on it and go like this and try to find what sounds good. But um. Yeah, it was, I guess, just one of those times in my life where everything was going wrong and I was really stressed out and, yeah, I mean, I was sad and I just, I, I kind of let it out in this song and um, I think that's something that a lot of people go through. At the end of the day, we're not happy all the time. We all have problems, so I'm hoping that people can relate to it and, and understand that you're not alone. We all have issues. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty. <laughs> Rewind um, is a song that I, I wrote about a bad breakup, which I hope is not something that happens only to me. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was it was the summer romance that I'd had, and everything was pretty good. But I mean, I guess some things come to an end, and that's what happened. And it was pretty bad, and 
and I just, yeah, I was a little bit angry about it, so I wrote Rewind, which is all about wanting to forget that it kind of ever happened and just get over it. And I, I do think that's something that, that people can really relate to. We've, well, I think a lot of us go through bad relationships and, and want to forget about them. <laughs> for me, I write songs, so thank you to my ex-boyfriends for giving me that. <laughs> She says she's not pretty. Lie is a, a really beautiful song. It's it's just me singing and Stephen Small on the piano, who's a genius, by the way. Um, and I I wrote it for one of my friends who was going through a stage where she was a little bit insecure. She didn't think she was very attractive, um, and I, I guess she just didn't think that she was worth much, which is is really sad. And and actually quite, a, I think, a common feeling for young girls. So I ended up writing this song for her just to kind of let her know that I think she's amazing. And, and so many other people do. And, and I guess just to try and make her feel a little bit better. I got one big box in the back of my car filled with... All I Need is totally one of my favourite songs on the album. Um, I think it's because it best describes me, to be honest, and the things I find important. Um, I try not to care too much about material things at the end of the day. So that's what the song's all about. Um, <laughs> and it was cool because we actually recorded it what you call live. So it was me on guitar and vocals, Simon on a guitar and Tom on a banjo. And we just kind of did one full take and it's, it's a little bit messy compared to the other songs but that's what's so great about it, you know, imperfections. <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely one of my favourite. I, I call it my Bogan song, <laughs> and you'll hear why. <laughs> I wrote Stick With You a while ago. Again, it was kind of one of those situations where I wanted to get out of the city and, and go back to the countryside and the beach. Um, and it's just, I kind of was like at a point where I was like, look, I, I, don't, I don't know everything. I know I've got heaps to learn. And I just kind of want to forget about all the stress and and busyness of my life. And I, you know, I want to go to the beach. And I just, yeah, I just wanted to chill out at the end of the day. Um, it's one of my mum's favourite songs because I think she feels exactly the same way. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really chill. It's a really mellow song, which I love as well. Know My Heart, I, I wrote on this thing I did last summer called five songs, five beaches where I went around and, and wrote a song at each different beach and um, I think when I wrote this song I had a few people trying to tell me what to do which I don't really respond to very well. <laughs> um, so No My Heart is really just all about me kind of getting to a point in my life where I, I've made a lot of mistakes like we all do. I feel like I've learnt a lot from them and I'm ready to move forward and I know myself pretty well and where I'm heading and what's important to me so I don't always need people kind of telling me what to do at the end of the day. <laughs> so I think it's got a really strong message. Um, there's also some really cool sounds in there as well. It's quite floaty. <laughs> this city makes you crazy. Get Away is, is definitely one of the more upbeat songs in the album. And um, <laughs> again, it's, it's one of those situations where I was just like, look, I want to get away from this, you know, busy, stressful time in the city and I just want to go back to the beach and hang out with my friends. Um, but I think my favourite thing about the song is, is the range in my voice, actually. Um, the way I wrote it, you kind of get to hear me singing really low and then there's this key change and the bridge where I belt out these really high notes that I never thought I could possibly hit. <laughs> um, you kind of get to see me being angry about wanting to just go and have fun and, and be young. <laughs> so it's a really cool one. It's, it's almost slightly Fleetwood mac -y, which is awesome because Fleetwood Mac rock. Um, so hopefully it doesn't disappoint. <laughs> and I realize Here to Stay is, is one of the more chilled out songs in the album. I kind of like to describe it like when you listen to it you almost feel like you're under the water <laughs> which is awesome. It, it's very just kind of flowy. It's awesome. Um, 
I, I wrote, I guess, <laughs> I've kind of had a few bad boyfriend situations in my time. <laughs> and I wrote this song about a boy that I thought would kind of break the cycle, you know, and it was all about saying that, you know, I'm going to be okay now with this guy and everything's going to be fine. So I guess you could say it's kind of a love song. But yeah, I mean, my favorite thing about it is that. Okay, so firstly, I'm not very good at guitar, but this song I tried really hard to kind of create a little riff to, which I played the whole way through and really hit my fingers, but I was pretty much proud of myself for doing that. So make it all go faster than it needs to go. Bring Me Home has got to be another one of my favourite songs in the album. It's, it's a massive country number, to be honest. It's really cool. I, there's some big kick drum sounds and banjo. It's real awesome. Um, yeah, I guess <laughs> when I wrote it, it was more about... Um, I don't know if you know that situation where you're in a, you're, you've met a guy and... And you're like, okay, I think you like me, but neither of us are going to admit it. <laughs> it's that sort of awkward situation. So I wrote the song being like, come on, let's just cut to the chase. You can't piss around with this stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's also got the word Santeria in it, which I, I took from um, the song by Sublime, which is another one of my favourite bands. You'll actually find that the music I listen to isn't that much like the music I write. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for people to hear Bring Me Home. It's going to be an awesome song to sing live. So much fun. Yeah, I feel like I should be driving a tractor when I sing it, to be honest. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And this could last.